Our heart is one of our most precious gifts. Today is Christmas Eve. My heart is aching for all of you who are lonely this holiday season and rejoicing for all of you who are finding happiness through it. I am making this video as more people than we think dread the holidays more than we think. Valdo, would you mind repeating? I think this is important. More people than we think dread the holidays more than we think. If you believe that happy is the only emotion for the holidays, I recommend you swipe left. If you're curious about my statement and want to know why it is so, I invite you to keep watching. My name is Valdo Lallement. I'm a relationship coach. I created a vibrant couple to liberate love through connection and playfulness. Today is episode eight of one of my favorite series, Valdo's Voice. This is where I talk about life and shit and of course <laughs> love and how to become more playful. And it may be the beginning of a new series, Is Your Heart In It? Everyone knows that the holidays are a stressful time. There is finding gifts for all that you think you should send a gift and then there is rushing to ship those gifts to said people that you should send a gift to. And there is the stress of flying to see your parents when you already flew there a few weeks ago for Thanksgiving or the stress of hosting your children or the stress of driving to two Christmas dinners in one day because you somehow need to meet everyone's expectations for Christmas. As my work is with couples, I want to invite you to dig a little deeper and look at competing and unresolved expectations around Christmas. The stress of managing or often shoving down past hurts and accompanying built up resentment around those differences in your couples around the holidays. And the stress of doing something or one more thing in which your heart is not aligned. I believe that life is very simple. When a heart is in it, we're happy. When a heart is not in it, we struggle. So Valdo, is this video a Christmas bashing because the holidays are somehow the cause of many people's unhappiness? Not at all. It is an invitation to couples to become a better couple. Please say more, I'm curious. Every couple goes through a honeymoon phase, which is wonderful, and we all know that this is very chemically induced, in which somehow a series of chemicals make us see our partner as the perfect person and not see or not sweat over the small stuff. And then most couples experience the power struggle phase in which basically our partner becomes the enemy. Many couples fail during the power struggle phase and many couples learn to manage with varying degree of happiness. One of the key components to these two phases is an expectation of need fulfillment. Basically, we expect the other to make us happy. I believe that it is in the resolving of the power struggle that couples can create a deeply satisfying relationship. One in which we attune to each other's preferences. One in which we honor each other's differences. One in which we become safe to each other. One in which we become allies not enemies like in the power struggle phase, and in which one becomes the right partner versus having or finding the right partner. I believe that Christmas is an excellent vehicle to see the dissonance in one's couple between honeymoon expectations, you know, we should be happy during the holidays, Christmas should make us happy, and the actual power struggle that is happening because of your differing views around Christmas and past hurts and built up resentment as a result. So, um, how do you use Christmas as a way of becoming a more conscious couple? First is focusing on the conscious of conscious couple. So I invite you to take some time and inventory your life. Where are places in which your heart is? And where are places in which your heart is not? 
some of you may already be very happy with your life and have your heart in your career, in your couple, with your children, I invite you to dig deeper. What are places in which your heart is not? What changes could you make so that you would be happier? Some of you may be dreading a lot in your life. And so it might be better to not do a full inventory of all you don't like in your life. It might be better to identify one, two, maybe three things that would be fairly easy to change in which your heart could be more into. Second is the couple part of conscious couple. I invite you to share with your partner what it is that makes your heart happy and what it is in your life that closes your heart. Before you do that, I invite you to take an honest look at your relationship. How much can you share with your partner without triggering each other, without going into enemy territory? Some couples are very open and curious with each other and they can share anything. This is very rare. On the other end, there are some couples in which anything triggers each other. My hope for you is that you are somewhere in the middle and hopefully middle plus and there are things that you can discuss with your partner. I assume if you watched this video this far is there is some hope in your couple about redefining what it is to be happy together as a couple. Third is to explore by yourself and with your partner what it is that could change, what are possibilities for you to have a fuller heart in your life. A creative example of that happened many years ago with my family. At that time I was building zip lines and area adventure parks and I cut a number of fir trees to make space for my clay contraptions. My heart was always constricted around felling trees but I somehow managed because I knew that I would make a lot of people happy by riding those zip lines. Sadly, I never cut any of these trees around Christmas time, or if I did, that was far away from home. And so it was hard for me to either cut or buy a tree that was specifically fallen for Christmas. My ex-wife and I created an alternate that was very playful. Several years, we got a big, empty fridge box that we cut into a tree shape and then we assembled it and we painted it in green and that was our Christmas tree. So of course it did not smell like a Christmas tree but there was something joyful about that tree that we made together as a family as a way of my heart being into creating and decorating a Christmas tree for the family. Step four, basically once you have inventoried where your heart is not in it, where your heart could be more in it, when you have shared some with your partner, when you have done some explorations of what you could change, is to basically follow the more, I would say, <laughs> pagan origins of the holidays and basically decide what it is that you want to let go of and decide what you want to let in. If this video inspired you to create more happiness in your life and in your couple, please hit the like button below and subscribe so you can be notified when I publish new juicy content. And please share with all you believe would benefit. I look forward to seeing you very soon.